My name is Celia Pomerantz, and I was uh, the primary caregiver to my mother who had Alzheimer's. I didn't have the capabilities. I didn't know how to handle this disease. My life is upside down, but when I would get to see her, I fell in love with her again. I think the most underestimated ingredient in caregiving is love. Caregiving process is so grueling that you forget about that. I mean, you have to sometimes go into the shower to shower somebody. You have to change their diapers, sometimes standing up. You have to go through their drawers, smelling their clothes, because they put their dirty clothes back in the drawer. You have to open their mouth to make sure that they're not hoarding food. There are so many disgusting things and it's hard because when you're a mother to a young child and doing all those things, you're okay. But I think that as a disease progressed, she didn't know who I was, but she knew that I was somebody special. And in fact, uh, probably about two weeks before she died, I had some salsa music on. And she was listening to the music and she was playing this imaginary drum, you know, really getting into the moment. She looked at me and she said, you're my best friend. That was probably the last phrase that she said. At the end of her life, it was very natural for me to put music on. I had sprayed the bed with perfume. I put flowers around her head. And when she was taking her last breath, and I said, you know, Mom, it's time to go. And it's OK. said, you know, take a step and just rest and feel the breeze and listen to the music and take a sniff. It's Chanel number no. five, your favorite perfume. And then take another step. And when you're ready, just let go. When she died, she had a tear. So she heard it. It was a gift. It was her final gift to me.